Business Editor Richard Southern joins us on this beautiful Monday. Hi, Richard. Good to see you. Good to see you, Janella. How are you? Not too bad. So last week we spoke about Aunt Jemima and the brand being retired. And now another product is getting a rebrand due to its uh, derogatory roots. Yeah, this one's out of the uh, freezer case at the grocery store, Janella. After um, about 100 years, uh, Eskimo Pie Ice mm. Cream is getting a new name. This is uh, this brand owned by uh, Dyer's Ice Cream. And they say uh, they're ditching the name Eskimo Pie because... The company says it recognizes it is derogatory. You know, the term Eskimo is a disparaging term for the indigenous people of the Arctic regions of Canada, Alaska, Greenland, and Siberia. This uh, chocolate-covered vanilla ice cream bar joins the brands, as you say, Janella, like Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben's that have overhauled their long-used names, uh, which are considered racially offensive. Of course, all following the uh, death and the uh, outrage uh, after uh, the the, uh, the passing of George Floyd in the state. So add another name to that uh, list there, Janella. Yeah, I'm still waiting for the announcement from the Redskins. Let's see how long they hold on to that one. Okay, the girls. sports teams, the Cleveland Indians, too. Uh, yep. You know, going for, for that terminology. be interesting to see what these sports teams do. I mean, something people have been talking about for years and years and calling for, and maybe we're finally going to see it. Okay, grocery stores are continuing to adjust to the coronavirus pandemic. And one chain is you don't have to worry about uh, coming in contact with humans. They've got a robot to do it for you. Only robots will have touched your food. <laughs> Not even the robots even. Now, what we're talking about here is Sobeys. They built this. This is their brand new uh, delivery center in Vaughan. They're starting a new delivery service today, Sobeys. It's called Voila. But unlike these other grocery delivery services that rely on people, uh, usually third-party contractors, picking up your orders in the actual store, this one is all done by robots at this uh, automated center. I had a chance today to talk to the VP of Sobeys e-commerce. We deliver from an automated warehouse, not a store. So we have robots that actually assemble orders. And then we have teammates that safely deliver those orders to customers' homes. Uh, with less handling throughout the whole process. When we talk about robotics and all sorts of things, the obvious question is, is it costing someone's job? Absolutely not. We're still creating 1,500 jobs in the GTA to support this new business between the warehouse, customer service, delivery. So this is je definitely job creation. So Janelle, the prices for everything they tell me are the same as in the actual Sobe store. The delivery fee is $7.99. It starts in Vaughan today, and it's going to start operating here in the Toronto region in a couple of weeks' time, they tell me. I know they say no jobs lost, but I have to wonder how soon that last step, the delivery person, is going to be replaced by, like, a drone or something just landing yeah, I know. on your porch. they're going to fly your, your milk in before you know it, Janelle. Right. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of contactless service, you came across a local restaurant. I saw this video that you posted uh, getting creative with their takeout service. So I picked up some fish and chips on Friday night from uh, old Yorkie fish and chip shop on Laird Avenue. And they have a great system going on there. You order on a, at a window and then your order comes down a slide, Janella. <laughs> There's your fish and chips coming down like an old kid slide that they rigged up there uh, coming out of one of the windows. And uh, there's my nice fish and chips. By the way, the lovely fish and chips. I have to give this my right recommendation. They did a great job. But it just shows you, you know, how businesses are trying to think a bit outside the box here, Janella, when it comes to uh, social distancing. Yeah, you know, I think th we talked about a couple weeks ago the uh, exterminator, right? The UV scan. I think that this pandemic has really kind of pushed a lot of businesses to think of new inventions and ideas. You know, my husband is distributing these step and pulls, these uh, door openers with your foot. So there's lots of different things that people are doing to kind of get around this. It's really cool. We're going to talk about another one uh, just after 6.30 about um, how yoga classes are ongoing here in Toronto amid social distancing. You and I are back just after 6.30, Janelle. All right, we'll chat then. Thanks.